be gathered in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, O the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who, seeing the human race fallen into death, will to redeem it by the coming of, our, of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that those who confess his incarnation with humble fervor may merit his company as their Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The gift of a baby boy filled Hannah with joy and gratitude. Her offering the child back to God and a hymn of thanks in the responsorial psalm foreshadowed the manifestation of Mary's gratitude to the Lord as expressed in her Magnificat. A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days, Hannah brought Samuel with her, along with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour, and a skin of wine, and presented him at the temple of the Lord in Shiloh. After the boy's father had sacrificed the young bull, Hannah, his mother, approached Eli and said, Pardon, my lord. As you live, my Lord, I am the woman who stood near you here, praying to the Lord. I prayed for this child, and the Lord granted my request. Now I, in turn, give him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be dedicated to the Lord. She left Samuel there. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My heart exalts in the Lord. 
My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the nether world. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles. He also exalts. My heart is in the Lord, my he raises the needy from the dust. From the dung heap, he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My Lord exalts in the Lord, my Savior. Please stand. of all nations and keystone of the church, come and save man whom you formed from the dust. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things. And the rich, he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang gabi po sa ating lahat at maligayang pagdating dito po sa simbahan ng Manawag. Sa ating mga pagbasa ngayong gabi nito, meron pong dalawang babae ang umawit ng papuri sa Diyos dahil nabiyayaan sila ng anak. Sino po yung dalawang babaeng yun? Sino po? Si Maria at si? Hindi po si Elizabeth. Yung sa unang pagbasa, narinig po ba ninyo kung sino yung babaeng yun? Si Hana. At yung kanta ni Hana ay yung salmong tugunan 
na kinanta kanina. Alala natin yung kanta ni Maria, Ang puso ko'y nagpupuri, nagpupuri sa Panginoon. Yun po yung kinanta niya ngayon. Nagbigay pa puri siya. At alam po ninyo, yung kanta ni Maria ay hawig sa kanta ni Elis sa kanta ni Hana. Sino ba si Hana? Si Hana po ay asawa ni Elkana. Pero si Hana ay isang baog. At alam po natin nung unang panahon, kapag baog ang isang babaeng may asawa at walang anak, sila po ay kinukutya. Pinagtatawanan ikinahihiya dahil they are considered as cursed. Pinaparusahan sila ng Diyos. Pero ito pong si Elkana na asawa ni Hana ay may isa pang asawa, si Penina. Si Penina merong anak. Kaya't tingnan nyo na lang kung paano ang trato ng isang asawang may anak sa asawa nung isa na wala siyang anak. Siguro sinasabi ni Penina, ah, walang anak, ah, walang anak. Baka pinagtatawanan niya, kinahihiya niya, syempre, para makuha siguro yung atensyon ni Elkana na kanilang asawa. Pwede po dati ang dalawang asawa o higit pa. Pero sorry mga tatay, ngayon po sa atin, hindi na pwede. Isa lang. Huwag na pong dalawa. Nahirap ang buhay. Baka mag-away pa sila. Sasabihin ni Penina, Ah, ako marami akong anak. Blessed ako. Biniyayaan ako ng Diyos. E ikaw. Kaya't gano'n na lang kaliit ang tingin ni Hana sa kanyang sarili. Dahil akala niya, siya ay sinumpa siya ay pinaparusahan ng Diyos dahil ganun ang thinking noong unang panahon. Kaya't anong ginawa ni Hana? Pumunta sa templo, nagdasal, Diyos ko, Diyos ko, bigyan niyo ako ng anak. Sa sobrang desperado, nakita siya ng pari doon sa templo ang pangalan ay si Eli. Akala pa nga ni Eli, si Hana ay isang lasing kasi hagulgol ng hagulgol. Pero sinabi lang ni Hana, desperado lang po ako. Sobra ng panliliit. Nakakahiya. At para bang ako'y pinaparusahan ng Diyos. At pagkatapos nun, binigyan siya ng anak ng Diyos. Kaya't kumanta siya. Yun yung kanyang kanta, My heart exalts in the Lord. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. Binigyan siya ng Diyos, ng anak. Marami po sa atin dito, siguro may ilan, kung hindi gaman ka karamihan, may mga ilan na pumupunta dito na nanghihingi ng anak. Ilang taon na silang may kas kasal? Wala pa rin, Lord! Kaya baka yung iba dyan, humahagulgol, Lord, bigyan mo ko anak. Pero hindi po kayo pinaparusahan. Tapos kumanta si Hana, na hawig sa kinanta ni Maria. Siguro alam ni Maria yung kanta ni Hana. Kaya nga si Maria, pagkatapos binisita niya si Elizabeth, kinanta niya yung Magnificat na parang hawig doon sa kanta ni Hana, sa lumang tipan. Sino nga po pala ang anak ni Hana? Si Samuel, isang propeta. Tapos dito, si Maria, hindi siya humingi. Bagkus siya, ay napuspus ng biyaya. Sinabi pa ng angel, Hail, full of grace! Napupuno ka ng grasya. At 
binigyan siya ng anak. Doon po sa isa, kay Hana, hiningi niya ang anak dahil sa kanyang kahihiyan, sa kanyang pinagdadaan ng problema na para bang minamaliit siya, inaalipusta siya. Pero dito kay Maria, hindi niya hiningi kusang ibinigay at pareho silang kumanta ng papuri sa Diyos. Pero alam po ninyo, sa likod ng dalawang kantang yun, merong mga merong mga siguro pangamba. Si Maria, hindi niya po hiningi yung bata. Kusa na lang pong binigay ng Diyos. Pero tanging si Maria lang ang nagkaroon ng anak ng walang kakilalang lalaki o walang asa na walang nagkaroong nangyari sa lalaki. Kaya hindi niyo po masasabi na mga kababaihan, kapag wala kayong asawa, nagkaroon kayo ng anak, ay, lalang ito ng Espiritu Santo. Baka po ibang Espiritu yung pumasok sa inyo. Tanging kay Maria lang ang nangyari ang ganun. Pero sa kabila nun, nangamba si Maria, nangamba si Hana. Kasi, alam po nila ng kanilang mga anak ay hindi nila hawak habang buhay. Anong ginawa ni Hana sa ibang sa first reading na ating binasa? Inihandog niya sa templo. Inihandog niya sa templo. Anong ginawa ni Maria? Inihandog ni Maria si Jesus sa tanan para maging kaligtasan at manunubos ng lahat. Kaya nga, tingnan ninyo ang ating birhen. May tangan-tangan siya na parang waring ibinibigay ang kanyang anak para sa iyo. Ibinalik nila. Ibinigay nila yung kaligayahan na kanilang nadama. Ibinalik nila sa Diyos ibinahagi nila sa tao. Kung yung anak na yon ay regalong ating natatanggap sa araw-araw, kung yung regalong yun ay ang inyong yaman, ang iyong talento, ang inyong lakas, ang inyong buhay, kaya-kaya nating ibalik sa Diyos o ibahagi sa ibang tao Yung anak kaya natin, kaya-kaya natin ibahagi sa Diyos, iandog sa Diyos. Yung anak kaya natin, pagkatapos nating alagaan, pagkatapos nating pag-aralin, pagkatapos nating pakainin, pagkatapos nating turuan, kaya nyo kayang ibigay sa iba para maging kanilang katipan para bubuo ng pamilya. Kaya nyo kaya silang ibigay para sa iba na mas nangangailangan. Yung inyong yaman, kaya nyo kaya ibigay? Ipaggaloob sa Diyos? Ibahagi sa mga taong nangangailangan? Kaya napatanong ako, bakit pa kukunin ulit ng Diyos kapag binigay na? Kapag binigay na, bakit kukunin pa? Siguro may mga tao sa buhay natin na dumating na akala natin sila na yung para sa atin, hindi po ba? Siguro minsan kayong pinangiti, pinakilig, pinangakuan, pero hindi rin pala sila ang makakatuluyan ninyo Naalala ko tuloy na panood ko sa Facebook, 13 years sila ni ate. Pinagpalit siya sa 4 months. Kuha ko yung babae, naku. Pinashoot to kill ko na yung lalaking yun. Kalain niyo yun. 
Pero may mga bagay talaga na hindi para sa atin. Meron talagang hindi para sa atin. Perhaps, some people enter our lives not to stay, but to teach us a lesson. And what lesson is that? None other than think about God first. Dahil yun ang ginawa ng dalawang babae sa ating mga pagbasa. Kung anong meron sila, ibinigay nila ulit sa Diyos, ibinahagi nila para sa iba. Bakit ganun? Para mas lalo kang maging masaya. Para mas lalo kang ganap na maging masaya. Bakit? Ano bang nangyari kay Hana? Alam nyo, pagkatapos mong inihandog ni Hana yung kanyang anak ni sa Samuel sa templo, nagkaroon pa siya ng ibang anak. Alam niyo pagkatapos na ibahagi ni Maria ang kanyang anak na si Jesus, anong nangyari sa kanya? Naging reyna ng langit at lupa. At doon mas nakita nila kung paano gumagalaw ang kamay ng Diyos sa kanilang buhay. At doon nila nakita ang kahulugan ng ganap na galak. Sasaya ka. Magagalak ka. Pero sana, unahin mo muna ng Diyos, ika pa nga, seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything will be given unto you. Seek and you shall find, knock, and the door will be open unto you. Pero unahin mo siya. Kaya nga sa Paskong darating, ilang araw na lang Pasko na, mayroong darating na sanggol, mayroong darating na bata, na ibibigay para sa iyo. na magbibigay ng tunay na galak, ng tunay na saya, pero sana tanggapin mo. Pero sana tanggapin mo. Dahil tinanggap ni Hana at ni Maria yung sanggol na magpapaligaya sa kanila, pero hindi doon matatapos. na sana kapag tangan-tangan mo yung sanggol, maibabalik ka sa Diyos. Ikaw mismo. Ikaw mismo ang babalik. Ikaw mismo yung mababahagi. And to enter other people's lives and make a difference. Mararanasan natin ang tunay na galak, ang tunay na saya. Kapag ibinabalik natin sa Diyos kung ano naman ang tunay na nasa Kanya, kung anong para sa Kanya, ang papuri, ang pagsamba na dapat ay para sa Kanya, ibalik mo, ibahagi mo, at sasaya ka. Please all stand. The Lord has done great things not only for Mary, but also for us. Let us express our gratitude to Him as we say, We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of creation, the very foundation of all other gifts the Lord has bestowed on us, let us give thanks. We thank you, Lord. For the gift of our life and all the opportunities the Lord has given us. 
to become instruments of His love for others. Let us give thanks. We thank you, Lord. For the gift of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, who opened for us the gates of heaven, let us give thanks. We thank you, Lord. For the gift of the church and the fruits of holiness that have flourished in it over the centuries, up to our very days, let us give thanks. We thank you, Lord. For the gift of God's word, which is for us a source of enlightenment, encouragement, and strength, let us give thanks. We thank you, Lord. For the gift of sacraments in which we encounter the risen Christ from whom we receive the strength we need to live according to the gospel. Let us give thanks. We thank you, Lord. Let us realize the other personal reasons for which we should be grateful to the Lord. For all these gifts, let us give thanks. We thank you, Lord. Lord God, source of all goodness and life, continue to shower your blessings upon us. May all that we are and do be a constant thanksgiving to you, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Holy Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that we may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, do these in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. Cipriano, Cipriano. In the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. 
Peace be with you. May this mean. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am that worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe to eternal life. Amen. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon, bago humarap sa magbibigay ng komunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostya at sumagot ng amen. At isubo na agad ang hostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po.
Let us pray. Please stand. May reception of your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that we may go out to meet our Savior with worthy deeds when he comes and merit the rewards of the blessed through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa sa banal na misa at patuloy po nating ipagdasal ang isa't isa. Mag-ingat po kayo sa pag-uwi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, oils, and images, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.